Okay. So, I talk a lot about, um, yeah, this is strength and, uh, yeah, find your strength. I talk a lot about doing, getting past your fears and breaking your habits and achieving your goals, but don't ever really give any sort of plan about how to do that and how to make those things happen. Uh, there's, there's a couple of key things that you can do to make that a lot easier. And that is journaling is one of them. Journaling allows you to keep a record of your progress. Seeing progress helps to give you strength. And um, strength is what it takes to get past all those obstacles that you put up for yourself. Another source of strength is your support group. Support group is extremely important when things are going bad and you're about to give up and lose hope. It's, having somebody to support you is, is invaluable. One of my, well, two of my favorite stories are uh, Carl Benz and Charles Goodyear. Carl Benz is the guy who made the first internal combustion engine car. And Benz was pretty cool for doing that. But his wife was even cooler. He He didn't have a lot of faith, I guess, in his his design, but his wife did, and she stole the first car, and she took it, her and her sons, on a, I think it was a hundred mile trip with the first car, without her husband's permission, and the only reason why I say that, you know, she needed her husband's permission was because it was his car, his design, all that jazz um, and along the way she had problems she fixed the car I think with a, either her nylons or a bra strap or something like that a very very great woman and the automotive industry in the world we know it today wouldn't be there without her yeah I probably would have gotten there but not when it did the other really great story that I like is another one having to do with cars, basically, and Charles Goodyear. Um, it doesn't, it's not specifically about cars, but anyway, not important. Charles Goodyear, his wife was extremely supportive of him. Uh, for those, you know, for anyone who doesn't know, Charles Goodyear is the guy who developed vulcanation techniques for hardening rubber. And rubber is in everything and everywhere. And basically at the time, you know, they were making rubber soled shoes, but then the, sh the soles would melt on the hot, um, well, when the ground got hot. And so, Charles Goodyear set out to solve this problem and it took him years and he filed bankruptcy a couple times and they lived in a barn that someone was just allowing him to live in a barn rent free and people were giving him food and milk and for the children and and Mrs. Goodyear stood by him you know people thought he was crazy but 
she stood by him and he uh, changed the world. And it's, it's not one of those tales of behind every good man is a good woman per se, but that is definitely true. It's because he, they had support. They had support of people who cared. And trying to do things on your own is so much more difficult. You get discouraged. You lose heart. Uh, so having a good support system just makes everything so much easier and gives you strength in your times of need. Uh, you know, it's been said that to achieve your goals, you should surround yourself by people who are like-minded, which you probably should do anyway. Um, but the, one of the benefits is the strength that comes from, from being around those people. So another, another benefit of that support system and another source of strength for a lot of people is to tell people what you're going to do. You know, like going back to Charles Goodyear, he told people he was going to figure out the problem with rubber, and he did. So by telling people, it creates a, a, a certain level of accountability. And for many people, that account accountability will help them help give them the strength to push through whatever it is that they're trying to accomplish and, and the fears that come with it. You know, this goes from anywhere from quitting smoking and drinking to following your life goal to be an astronaut, I guess. You know, I have talked about taking this trip around the country and hopefully around the world and have I, had I not talked about it to people, I would have been far more willing to give it up. But now I have accountability. Now I own it. And it's a source of strength to me to keep me committed to having the desire to do it. Yeah, I may have to put it off and things may not go as planned and I may not leave when I thought I was going to leave, but that doesn't stop the fact that I plan to do it still. And I'm, I'm working a plan around it. Having a concrete plan also is a source of strength. It allows you to see progress and being, being able to see your progress, you know, that's, that's what one of the things with journaling uh, allows you to, to know that you're continuing to move and you're on the right track. It also serves as a, re the journal also serves as a reminder that, of, of what you're trying to accomplish. And if you journal every day, it keeps you focused and looking at it. These are all, all things you can do to increase your chances of achieving your goal by giving yourself, finding the strength to, to do what you set out to do. And none of them, none of them are hard. None of them take a lot of time. None of them really require any extra effort. Okay, journaling does take a little bit of time, but so what? You spend five minutes a day, five minutes out of your twenty-four hours. You. You build it into your you build into your day and your daily schedule. If we just just do a bunch of little things, increase your chances to, for success greatly. So coming up with the strength that you need to achieve your goals can, can actually be very simple. It doesn't have to be anything drastic and grandiose. That's my, my current word for the week is grandio grandiosity. 
spend a lot of time focusing on the grandiose things, the big dreams, big goals, and ignore the little step-by-step things that have to happen so the big ones can. And that's, that's, that's not productive. So, figure out what it is that you need to get your strength.